Hey there, my name is Promise, and welcome to Vampire Survivors. This is a new game, just came out a few weeks ago, and it's enjoying overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam, and it's only $3, so I decided to go ahead and pick it up and give it a shot. This game's pretty fun, though a little bit difficult to describe. It's, it's kind of a bullet hell action roguelike, except not, because ideally you are the bullet hell, or you're trying to become one. But at the same time, it's sort of a slow-moving bullet hell because there's a ridiculous number of monsters on the map who are trying to eat your face. I don't know. You'll see what I mean once we go ahead and play. It's a pretty darn fun game. A little bit arcade in its style. You kind of just run in, play a match for maybe up to 30 minutes, and then you can stop her. Keep going, totally up to you. Now, let's go ahead and jump directly into a game. Normally, you'd start off with only one character. I happen to have unlocked, I think, all but one of the achievements in this game, so I've got a lot of other characters to work with. Let's go ahead and play with Arca. Haven't played with this guy yet. We start start off with the Fire Staff, and our weapon cooldown gets reduced by 5% every 10 levels. Every character starts with a different weapon and has a different effect, which can be pretty fun. As far as our map, we can play in the Mad Forest, the Inlaid Library, or the Green Acres, which is random. I'll play in the Inlaid Library. And normally this game is a little bit slow, but I'm going to go ahead and turn it on to Hyper Mode. You can play for up to 30 minutes, whether you're in Hyper Mode or not. Hyper just makes everything faster and harder to dodge, but you level up faster and get to deal with a lot more enemies. I think it's a lot of fun, plus, you know, high risk, high reward, right? All right, so let's go ahead and play with this character. Again, normally we'd be moving about half this speed and there wouldn't be quite so many enemies on the map, but I'm not too worried about that. So this is kind of the game. You're gonna be running around and trying to dodge enemies and pick up those little blue gems to level up like so. And when you level up, you can choose an item to try and buff yourself up. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the cross. It's a very, very good weapon. Fires off a couple shots like that and then they just sort of boomerang away. Depending on your positioning, they can clear out large groups of enemies, kind of like that. Not half bad. Also, you can see that our fire staff is firing off periodically. Ooh, do I dare? I dare. I'm going for Pichon? Peach one? I don't know how you call this one. This is a very lackluster weapon. It's not very good in the early game, but it becomes really good in the late game if you build it correctly. You'll see. It's a little whiteboardy. You see the little circle on my left, and now it's kind of floating around. It's a little hard to see now. But he's going to start firing off and bombarding this area. Like that. There you go. Um, it's, again, not very good in the early game. You have to upgrade this thing in order to make it good. But when it kicks off, oh boy, hopefully I will survive long enough for you to see what I'm talking about. It ends up being pretty darn solid. Uh, all right, let's just go ahead and continue grabbing as many of these as possible. What do we want? Okay, so there's several different items you can get in the game. You can hold up to six weapons and six little side items. In this case, I've got three side items to choose from. I'm going to go for the Attract Orb, which increases the distance from which I can grab these blue gems. I just kind of ran into those monsters like an idiot. Um, it's not going to increase my experience per se, but it also lets me kind of gather up experience a little bit safer. So that, um, you know, I, I don't have to put myself in harmful positions and it makes me level up faster. And the faster you level up, just generally speaking, the more powerful everything is going to be. I mean, you're just gonna, you're just gonna start wrecking face. Again, the goal is to become a bullet hell. You can kind of see it slightly now, but it's gonna get a lot better. Do I want magic wand? Kind of. Magic wand isn't bad. Fires the nearest enemy. Again, this takes up a, one of my valuable slots. I think I will pick this sucker up. So now, periodically, it's just going to fire off those little blue shots at the earliest, uh, the nearest target. And the reason I like having that is once in a while, um, I'm going to want to be able to clear a path. And having something that targets the nearest enemy will help with that. Otherwise, everything else is just going to fire at random enemies. And I have no control of the situation. That's dangerous. You want to have some semblance of control. There are other weapons that can do this. The whip fires off shots like directly in front of you or behind you. Uh, the garlic is just like a radius around you. It's okay. Not something I want, to be honest, but uh, I don't really have better options, so I guess I am going to go for the garlic. Garlic's really good in the early game, because now I can just run through these weak enemies with impunity, like this. Oh, floor chicken, perfect. Um, early game enemies die to garlic like no problem whatsoever. There's the whip. Not going to pick it up now, though. I have to save one of my weapon slots. So basically, because we have garlic, we're immune in the early game. I wouldn't have picked it, only because it can be a little bit unfun, but it's really good. And uh, I didn't really have a lot of better options, so I just kind of ran with it there. Uh, Hollow Heart, no. I think we'll just go ahead and continue leveling up my Fire Wand. So your goal, ultimately, is going to be getting your weapons up to level 8 if you can. And if you have picked a, the correct side item, right, to go alongside with a certain type of weapon, you will get to evolve that thing. 
An evolved weapon gets a whole new effect and is usually unbelievably good. So we're gonna be trying for that. Candelabra doesn't do me a lot of good. I think we just keep leveling up that fire wand, make it fire off more shots, make it do more damage. This garlic is OP, extremely good for hyper mode because you basically don't have to worry about anything until a new class of enemies start spawning in minute mm, three or so. Something kind of like that. We'll see. We should be spotting our first boss relatively soon. Bosses are no faster or more dangerous really than the enemies as much as they just have lots and lots of health. Rune Tracer is fantastic. I would take this, except again, I need to save one of my weapon slots. So let's go ahead and continue working on this Peach One, Pichon, whatever you call it. I really have no idea how that thing's gonna work. Great thing about Garlic also is just running into these guys, like you immediately grab the XP, which is really nice. Saves you a lot of trouble, a lot of running around, makes you level up faster, and anything that makes you level up faster is great. Hey, look, a boss! All right, we're gonna keep a little bit of distance on this guy and just go ahead and just keep beating him up like this. All right, all right, now we have zombies. Um, oh, sorry, well, I guess zombies, mummies, whatever. Um, unfortunately, this means that the garlic is not going to instantly kill these guys. So we have to be a little bit more careful with our positioning. I cannot get the King Bible, and I could get the crown, but I should not need it. We should level up to, like, level 100 by the time we're done with this. Uh, let's go ahead and continue working on the peach one. Again, for lack of a better name, since I don't know. And here we find a treasure. So every time you kill a boss, they drop a lot of experience, and sometimes they drop a treasure chest. We're going to open this sucker. And in this case, we're only going to get one random item. It is always an upgrade for something you already have. So you don't have to worry about it giving you a new item and taking up one of the slots with something you wanted to save, right? In this case, an upgrade for my Attract Orb. Okay, so we have more pickup range for the XP. Honestly, that's not a bad thing, especially if I'm going to be keeping at a long distance from these enemies, but all right, we'll work with that. Um, so that's nice. Now, once in a while, if you are lucky... You are going to get... I'll go ahead and level up the garlic, why not? You are going to get three or even five items from those chests. That's pure luck-based. There are side items you can get that will improve your luck stat to make that more likely, but even then, it's not very often that you run into those things. But man, does it feel good to run into a five-chest thing. That stuff's real good. Let's keep leveling up that fire wand. I am shooting for level eight as fast as I can. Although that said, we still can't evolve our fire wand until we get another side item. Specifically, I know that I need spinach. You really want to memorize these combinations if you can. Because honestly, like, it will make your life a lot easier if you can. Um, you, you want to know what weapons to get, what side items not to get. In this case, spinach. I'm going to go ahead and grab it instead of the fire wand. I want to lock it in since I don't know the next time that it's going to appear. And I want to make sure that I have that on hand so I'll be able to evolve my fire wand at some point in the near-ish future. Need a bit more XP? Come on, guys. Work with me over here. Come on, work with me. These guys are being stubborn. They're being stingy. But having the Attract Orb does make my life a little bit easier. I don't have to kind of put myself in harm's way as much. Uh, I don't really want the Candelabra Door, though. It's not bad, actually. The area of attack can be pretty solid, but it pairs with the Axe, and I don't have the Axe. So I'm going to go ahead and just level up my Magic Wand. The Laurel doesn't pair with anything. The best uh, items and weapons in the game, well, quote-unquote best, I mean, it's subjective, um, usually don't have an upgrade because they're already really good. Rune Tracer is uh, the name of a weapon, for example, that does not have any pairing. But man, is it good. It has some of the best DPS in the game, so you probably don't need it, right? Like, that's the kind of, there it is right there. That's the kind of thing you want. Bracer pairs with the knife. I don't have the knife, so we're going to go ahead and get that Fire Wand up to level 7. Keep firing off lots and lots of shots. With any luck, we're going to find um, a duplicator as an option for a side item in the near future. I would very much like to have that. Duplicator is fantastic. It increases the number of projectiles you fire for every weapon type, which you can imagine is just outstanding. It's a huge increase in DPS. Another item I'm going to need is the Empty Tome. Let's go ahead and keep upgrading the cross. We can go for evolutions on that later, too. We're going to need the Empty Tome, which reduces the cooldown of weapons. Again, going to just go ahead and increase my DPS by a pretty hefty margin. There's a chest on the ground, but I'm going to try not to pick it up until I can get the uh, level 8 Fire Wand, which is... Oh, uh, Duplicator, I need to get it. I can't miss out on that opportunity. It's too good. Darn it. Um, yeah, I'm going to hold off on picking up that chest. Chests are the only way to get an evolved item. So, you know, you want you want to save those if you can. I mean, if you're not anywhere close to getting an evolution, don't worry about it. There's the Empty Tome. Go ahead and grab that. That's the upgrade for my uh, wands to get that evolved later. So I'll just lock that in. Plus, it's a really, really good item regardless. We've only got uh, one weapon slot and two item slots left. 
So that's going to be a thing. But I got the duplicator and I got the empty tome. Two things I was looking for. We still need one specific weapon type. One specific weapon type. And it pairs with my peach one. My peach one, I'm going to call it Pichon from now on just because it sounds better and less stupid. Um, peach one, no, Pichon is <laughs> the only weapon that evolves that does not evolve with a side item. It evolves with another weapon called Ebony Wing. It is a similar item, except it's a dark purple bird who shoots little shadow bolts. If you can get both of those up to level 8, and this is a very costly investment, if you can get both of them up, then it evolves into one weapon, which frees up a weapon slot again, and does ridiculous amounts of damage. It's so good! There's a Fire Wand level 7, one more to go. It is so good, but it is a very dangerous and expensive investment. You're going to have a very lackluster couple of weapons for a large portion of the game until you are able to level up both. But holy crap, does it end up being good. You'll, if I can pull this off, you'll see what I mean. We are, by the way, picking up some gold on the ground. You may have noticed that a couple of times so far. The gold on the ground uh, is exactly what you think it is. It's money. And after every run, you can spend your money to get some permanent upgrades. That kind of introduces a bit of a roguelike aspect to the game. So you'll get a little bit more powerful as time goes on. Every run gets easier. For example, because I have played this for a while and I have spent plenty of money, I'm doing a fair bit more damage than the uh, new player would. And I'm also start with a duplicator. Uh, not as an item slot, but just like extra projectiles, which is really, really powerful. So, you know, this is not exactly typical of a first player's experience, but, you know, you earn your way here at some point. You earn your way here. All right, we're going to take a little bit of damage here. These guys are getting a little bit harder for me to kill. I really need to get that upgrade. There it is. Level 8. Pick it up and get the chest. Okay. Still only one item, not three or five. It's unlucky, but it's not a big deal. This should be an evolution for my fire. Ooh, it's not. That's disappointing. All right, it's not always a guarantee, but it's very likely you get the evolution. Instead, we got an upgrade for the cross. Crud! That means I need to go kill another boss and pray for another chest. Darn it! All right, I really wanted, I really wanted to get that thing upgraded, <laughs> but oh well. Um, in order to upgrade the cross, which is a very good idea, by the way, the cross is very good when upgraded, we need to get the clover, which is going to uh, increase my luck chance, making it more likely that we are going to get the good stuff we were looking for. All right, so we got a few ghosts and stuff. These guys are dangerous. Probably not as dangerous as some things, but still dangerous. I'm looking at this big green blob, and he's the boss that I want to kill. But I also got to try not to die while doing it. I see some floor chicken over there on the left, so I'll pick that up in a minute. Ugh. All right, we're going to go ahead and grab it now, I guess. I should mention this game is very clearly inspired in some way by Castlevania. Oh, I was expecting to get the chest there. Uh, let's go ahead and get the cross. Uh, the old Castlevania games, some of the item, like, appearances and art and stuff is very obviously taken from that. Plus, like, literally that stuff is called floor chicken, as opposed to the wall chicken of stuff like Super Castlevania 4. Yeah. Again, we didn't get the level up for my fire wand. I'm very disappointed, uh, but all right. Maybe it's too early in the game, and the game's like, it's only eight minutes in. You don't need evolutions yet. And if that's the case, I'm very disappointed, but all right. All right, all right. Still looking for that ebony wing, by the way. Anytime you guys want to give me that, that would be great. Also, Clover. Clover could be good. I would like to get some uh, triple or penta chests. That would be really good. Just saying. Be nice of you. Oh, another upgrade for the cross. Um, Yeah, I think we'll go ahead and do that. Candelabra really wouldn't be a bad idea at some point, by the way. Hey, floor chicken. Grab that. Yoink. And back up to full health. All right, now we're in a bit of trouble because there's going to be a lot of enemies, and I don't have the absolute best clearing ability right now. So we need to be leveling up fast and just constantly moving. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to take some damage here. It's almost a certainty at this point. Get more upgrades for that cross. Make sure that we do some more damage. I'm not really feeling it here. Um, the garlic can only do me so much. Ah, just keep running whenever we see a hole. Another duplicator? Sure, more projectiles for everything. That's really helpful, probably. I don't actually have as many projectile weapons as I would like, but it's okay. We're just kind of punching a hole using my uh, special wand. Another cross upgrade? Sure, why not? Yeah, that's great. That's not what I need right now. Ah! Okay, we got to watch. That's fantastic. Let's just run directly into these enemies and start killing off large groups. Grab that XP before it's too late. Another cross upgrade? Sure, let's go ahead and get that sucker up to level 8. If I can find a clover, then we'll have a chance of evolving that thing as well, which I'll be okay with. Still no sign of the Ebony Wing. Um, all right. Well, let's go for... Let's go for... I don't even know what I just picked up. I think I went for Peach One. Pichon? 
Mm, that's probably what I want. I mean, you can see that it does fire off a lot of shots. Like, this thing can do some pretty serious bombardment, but getting this thing to position with your enemies is a bit tricky. Let's go for another spinach, just because uh, extra damage right now will be helpful, because we need to be clearing through these guys. I think, for the most part, my garlic can clear off these uh, green mobs pretty easily. So, as long as I'm not just charging directly into them, we can do pretty good. Uh, another Attract Orb is tempting, but I'll go for Pichon. I see a boss over there on the left. I will need to kill him, probably as soon as I can. And there it is. Alright, come on! It's only one item. It's unfortunate. But I think we're about to get our evolution, based on what I'm seeing from the images so far. There it is! That's the Fire Staff. Alright, now we're going to start hurling giant meteors. And they pierce through enemies and do really good damage. So now we've got some serious clear. All right, watch this. Boom! Look at those meteors go. Yeah, yeah, this is what you want to see. This is what you want to see. Okay. Getting an evolved weapon early on is so stinking helpful because all of them are really powerful. Some are better than others. But this just happens to be a really good one because especially against some of these slightly weaker enemies, you can see it just literally clears a massive path for us, which just gives us free reign to get an absolute ton of experience. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this empty tome again because uh, the faster I can cast these meteors, obviously the better, am I right? So let's just go ahead and do that. Yoinkus, grab all that. Pew! And I do like the cross. It seems like a very unwieldy weapon, but when it fires off in the right direction, it can clear out huge groups behind you. Like, it does actually do a lot of damage. It's deceptive. Now, these little spinny white guys, um, they can do a lot of damage, and they do not die quickly to my garlic, so I need to be careful. I still can't pick up either of these weapons. I need to hold off for the upgrade with the Ebony Wing. I pray that the game is actually going to be kind and give that to me. It's not always a guarantee. And that's the risk of the Pichon, is if you do not get the uh, counterpart, well, then all of a sudden your damage potential is greatly reduced because this item is not that great on its own. It really needs its buddy. Um, we could start upgrading the magic wand a bit more and try to go for an evolution there, and I guess I'm okay with that. It's more immediately useful to me than Pichon, so I'm happy to grab it. Okay, let's just go ahead and walk through the path that we are clearing using my meteors. There we go. Much better, much better. Yeah, use that thing as much as you can. Eh, trying to get that XP. Ah, I'm in danger. Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Looking for a little bit of floor chicken, if you don't mind. Ebony wings! There you are. Grab. All right. Now all of our weapon slots are locked in. They're going to stop offering me new weapons, which reduces how many options I have to pick from, so it's more likely I get what I want. And I just guarantee that I'm going to get the counterpart that I needed. Hey, look up little boss. Tiny little bat guy. He'll die easily enough. So you'll see it's the exact same thing as Pichon. Now it's just shooting little purple uh, dots. And there's just like two circles that are traveling in like opposite directions now, which is pretty great. Um... It doesn't seem like much yet, but trust me, it ends up being really good. Let's get another empty tome. This will increase my DPS uh, immediately by a lot. There we go. There we go. We killed the little boss, but it did not drop a chest. It only dropped some XP. Unfortunate. Not what I wanted. Candle Labrador. You know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and pick it up. This increases the area of attacks, including my garlic and, I believe, also things like my crosses get bigger and my Pichon and Ebony Wing have a larger targeting area, which means we can just do more damage. I think that's how that works. But again, I want to save the last slot for uh, Clover, because I want to get the Luck stat. The Luck is what's going to let me upgrade this cross, and my DPS is going to get up a lot if I can get this thing evolved as well. I hate this particular phase of the game, by the way, only because the enemies aren't all clustered together, so it's a little bit harder to get them all killed, but it's fine. Let's go ahead and start leveling up that Magic Wand. That's another really good thing to get, and we have a bunch of frozen enemies, so we'll just go ahead and start running into them with impunity. I'm pretty sure they can't hurt you if they're frozen, literally, so you just go ahead and run into them. Just be careful. Uh, let's get this thing up to level 6. Should be fine. We'll end up getting spinach and stuff later, don't you worry. I mean, we are going to level up so much that we literally aren't going to have um, more upgrades to get at some point. So don't, don't feel like I'm passing on all these opportunities. I'm just deciding what to get first. Get you up to level 7 as well. There's a boss over here that I would like to kill, but not until I find the Clover, because I would love to get an upgrade for my cross. It's just too good not to. Come on, get me some more XP. I want to level up. Don't be stingy. Drop your souls. Let me pick them up. Please and thank you. Mwah, love you. Yeah, you'll notice, by the way, we do definitely level up a lot slower as time goes on, and that's just sort of to be expected. I mean, every level requires extra XP. I think the last run I did, uh, I ended up getting to level 104, 
And to give you an idea, I'm only at level 40 right now, so like there's a long way we can go with this still. Uh, also, the more gold you pick up, like just the better the upgrades. Last time I got something like 8,000 gold. No, that's too much, sorry. More like 6,800, I think. Which is a lot still, by the way. It's a lot of gold. Um, I don't want either of these items, so we're gonna go ahead and upgrade Pishon. Get that guy up to level seven. Now we're gonna start getting swarmed by a lot of enemies. Fortunately, the meteors are on my side and are gonna clear out a lot of them. Depending on what direction they fire. Oop, and we also just picked up a cross, which killed up a bunch of enemies, which is awesome. Um, I guess we could get you up to level eight so that we stop getting the option for you. So, okay, we'll do that. Could have upgraded the ebony wing, but I know I need to get both up to level eight. Uh, let's get the magic wand. There we go. Oh, we are getting so much XP right now that we are leveling up twice. Let's get another empty tome. All right. Now I feel like we can run over here. We should be able to get an upgrade for my wands because we do already have the uh, empty tome. So I'm pretty sure it'll give it to me right now. Boom, the holy wand, fantastic. This thing is like the wands, but it fires nonstop. There is no cooldown. So now we just have a machine gun attached to us, which is always gonna be targeting the nearest enemy. Um, I'm actually gonna grab another attractor because there are enough enemies on the map that I'm gonna have a harder time grabbing all the XP. So a little bit more range makes my life easier so I don't have to be in as much danger in order to pick up more XP and level up faster. Notice, by the way, we are indeed leveling up really fast now. <laughs> The more enemies are on the map and the more you're able to clear, um, the faster you level up and it becomes ridiculous at some point. Spinach? Mm, I don't know. Um, we don't have the item to upgrade garlic. I just realized we're never going to be able to upgrade garlic. I should not have grabbed the Candle Labrador. All right, so garlic's going to be a low priority. Get the spinach for an extra 10% damage just to make sure that we're able to clear through, through things a little bit faster. Yeah, I shouldn't have grabbed the garlic. The garlic was a bit of a desperate pick because I didn't have better options at the time, which is unfortunate, but oh well. Um, there's the clover I wanted, so we'll go ahead and pick you up. Next boss I see, if they drop a chest, will get me an upgrade for my cross, which is going to be ridiculous. There's a boss right there. It's a Medusa up over there. Unsurprising, given that we are surrounded by a bunch of little Medusa heads. Um, I think I'll go for even more base damage, though some luck was technically a good choice there too, just because maybe I get something out of this boss, but I guess we'll go ahead and pick it up now, why not? Okay, hold up, gotta be careful, gotta be careful, I'm taking a little bit of damage, but otherwise we're doing alright. Yeah, notice that the, uh, the wand is just crushing everything that gets close to me. If I stick close to the boss, we just, we'll pick it apart. Alright, I think we're gonna get our next upgrade. Evolution for the cross, the Vesper Blade, is that what it's called? Something like that, hang on. It is called, come on, pop up. Heaven Sword, I'm sorry, all right. Well, basically, it's a lot like the cross, but you're gonna see something different on the screen. Um, let's go ahead and start working on that ebony wing. You're gonna see a little pink sword flying around. It does the exact same boomerang thing, but it's got a wider area and does a lot more damage, and this thing alone can just wipe through massive numbers of mobs. So between the meteors plus these blades, we got a lot going for us. Let's go ahead and grab another upgrade for that empty tome so we just fire off everything as fast as we can. I think that's the best we're gonna get as far as cooldown reduction. And don't forget, because I'm playing this character, we actually also already got some cooldown reduction, so we're quite powerful right now. I'm gonna go ahead and grab, uh, let's say, a clover. Let's increase my luck for some more of those chest drops. I haven't gotten a three or a five yet. It'd be really nice to get. Every time we get an opportunity to upgrade Ebony Wing, though, that's gotta be a high priority for me. We're not gonna get any new item options. All we're gonna start getting now are upgrade options because uh, I've already taken up all my slots. Now that said, here's something fun on the map. There's something right at the very top there. That is a stone mask. If you wait until all of your item slots are filled and then grab it, you get a seventh item. It's not a very good item. It just increases the amount of um, gold you're gonna gain. But I mean, that's not a bad thing now, is it? All right, so we have another chest drop. Do we go on ahead and pick it up now? Um, yeah, I guess we go ahead and do it now. Why not? Gosh dang it, only one again. Ugh, last time I did this, I got like two pentas and like three. Like in a row. It was ridiculous. I was so powerful within like 12 minutes. But oh well. These ghosts, by the way, are a lot more dangerous, but we're doing pretty hefty amount of damage right now, so I'm not feeling too worried about it in theory. And don't think, by the way, that I get no value out of this garlic. I mean, the one good thing about the garlic is it does knock back enemies a little bit, which uh, can be good if you find yourself in a situation where you're getting surrounded. It kind of just stuns them for a very brief millisecond. 
It's not great, and you shouldn't be using it for DPS, but oh well. Let's get another Clover. I'm just going to max out that now. So max out my chances of getting a really good chest. Come on. You got to give me a Penta at some point. For the video. For the views. You got to give me something good. We are absolutely wrecking it right now. Yep, this is great. And honestly, you might think that Pichon and the Ebony Wings are doing pretty good. I mean, look at all the stuff that's on the ground there. I mean, like, they're shooting off a lot. Look at this. But they can get so much better. You'll see. Don't worry. You'll see. They become really, really, really good. If I can get the axe as my next weapon, and I, I know you're saying, wait, you can't get another weapon. Yes, I can. Just watch. If I can get an axe, we'll be able to get a really good damage buff, but we'll see. Okay, watch out for these little ghosty goos chasing me around. I, I know it's hard to see on the screen because there's a lot going on. But, um, yeah, I, I don't want those guys blowing up. I don't want those guys blowing up on me at all. Another Ebony Wing up to level 6. Two more levels on that sucker, and then we can evolve it. And then everyone's going to cry for the glory that I am going to descend upon this world. It's going to be outstanding. This is, by the way, when Pichon and the Ebony Wings start becoming good. Because they're really bad in the early game. Like, there's just not enough clustered enemies to really take advantage of the Bombard. But now there's stuff on the screen so often that I'm almost always getting value. Which is really, really good. So now they're starting to shine. Again, it's a late investment. It's a big investment if you want to get the full upgrade, and you always do. Otherwise, I don't recommend picking them up. Um, and it's, it's an expensive investment. It's a bit dangerous in the meantime in the early game. But once they pop off, oh boy, they pop off. Hey, look! A boss. Now, I don't want to pick up any chests from him, so I'm not going to pick that up because I'm really close to getting my upgrade from Pashon. I'm just going to call him Pashon from now on. I think that's his name. I like Pashon. Pashon the little dove. Oh, you didn't give me an upgrade this time? Darn you. Okay. Um, Let's go ahead and get the Candelabra door upgraded so we have even more area of effect. Just larger weapons doing more damage. Come on! Give me more stuff! I need to kill more of you faster! I need to kill more of you faster! There's a chest over there that I want to pick up, but I first got to kill more of you and get Pashon upgraded! Oh, the Ebony Wing, but you get the idea. Gosh, this uh, this Arcane Wand thing just does so much damage. Just look at this thing fire off. I mean, it's hard to even tell, but, like, it's really going off. Every nearby enemy is getting slaughtered by a machine gun at this point. Really powerful stuff. Uh, by the way, if you think that so far this is a little bit hard to, like, see, you know, and there's a lot going on on the screen, it gets worse. <laughs> I know it doesn't sound like it could be possible, but it's true. It gets worse. Gosh dang it. Still nothing. All right. Spinach again. This is the thing that's really can become annoying about the game. You're like, I need one more upgrade. And the game's like, mm, no. Eh, I don't think so. It's like, just give it to me. No. You, you, what if I say pretty please? Mm, no. That's just kind of how it goes. But sometimes the stars align and you get something really awesome to come through. Don't worry about it. It's fine. I mean, it's not like I'm in danger. There we go. Ebony Wings, level 8. All right. Now we run down to this chest and pray that this works. Ooh, we got a triple this time. Okay, there we go. Three items. Very likely that I'm going to get my upgrade now. I like what I see. This is going to be nice. All right, two candle Labradors and whatever that thing's called. I don't remember its name. I've only ever gotten it once. What is it called? Vandalier. It unites the Ebony Wing and the Pashon. They now both fire at two targets super fast and... It retracts down into one weapon, which means now I actually have another weapon slot. So here's the Rainbow Bird of Doom! And also, I should note that the Vandalier has its own upgrades. So we can upgrade this sucker even further. Don't worry. It's really good. It's really good. We're going to pop off. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and increase that base area even further. We have really big meteors going for us now. Hey, an Attract Orb. That'll pull all the XP off of the map. Turns out I wasn't missing very much, though. Oh, yes, I was. There it is. Woo. Yeah, I don't know. Um, that can be helpful once in a while. Axe! Yes! Pick that sucker up. All right, we've got the axe now. The axe isn't going to be super valuable later, but it uh, evolves with the Candle Labrador. So it will be good. Hi, little boss. How you doing there? You seem great. You doing okay? Oh, he's dead. Sorry! Not sorry at all, but yeah. That's how fast we kill bosses now. Note, by the way, that we only have 10 minutes left. 10 minutes left, and then it's all over. And we are going to die. It is literally unavoidable. Death comes for you, and you die. You can't resist it, but you win, and that makes it okay. Increase that base area up even further. Um, yeah, I could do that, but I'm gonna go ahead and start leveling up that axe. Whoa, the axes are massive. Wow, we got a lot of projectiles here because we have all those extra duplicators and stuff. Holy crap. Yeah, this is gonna be really nice. This is gonna be really nice. I, I, I don't even know if you can tell. Can you tell what's on the screen right now? Is this a thing? Can you see what's happening? 
Can you see the glory of my rainbow bird? Rainbow bird for life. Vandalier is awesome. Also, the fact that, you know, it's such a huge investment, but you can get another weapon slot is just so good. Let's go ahead and keep getting that axe. We should be able to level up really fast now at this point. I mean, I can just follow behind my meteors, and we'll just kill everything. Look at this. I'm just going to keep walking. I mean, I, I am taking a little damage, but, like, for the most part, we can just I ignore everything with impunity. That's the thing. You want to become such a bullet hell that, like, you can just walk and ignore everything. And you can do it. You can absolutely do it. It's definitely a thing. I mean, look at this. I'm just going to keep going. Keep walking. But you won't kill my vampire slayer guy. Actually, what is this guy's backstory? I have no idea. No, he's going to die. It doesn't matter. Look at this. Mowing them all down. Mowing them all down. And there are so many different weapon types and combinations that you can pick up that do this sort of thing. It's great. Another axe, level six, absolutely. Don't mind if I do. That sounds good. Sounds real good. Come on, I need to fire off more meteors. I still can take some damage. I'm not, I'm not really immune per se. But we're gonna get there. Oh man, don't you worry. We're gonna get there. I feel a little bit like George R. R. Martin constantly like, the dragons are coming, don't you worry. The dragons are coming. It's like, we're already kind of there, but like, I'm still not at my final form. Don't worry, we're gonna get even stronger than this. We got a ways to go still. I'm only level 69. I mean, I know that sounds nice and all, but like, we're not done. And once you do eventually upgrade every single item in the game, you do continue to level up. But instead of giving you upgrades, the game just starts giving you either, ooh, I took a lot of damage there, I gotta be careful. I can't even see what's happening on the screen, so I don't even know if I'm in danger or when I'm in danger. Um, Anyway, yeah, uh, you, you, it gives you the option to pick either some extra gold, which is good for the next run, or it lets you get some health with some free floor chicken, which is nice. Um, all right, keep watching out for those ghosts. Those are the ones that I'm pretty sure are killing me. Wow, I don't even know what happened to the boss down there. That's the level eight axe. All right, if we can get over there, which we can. Oh, Penta! Boom! I know that only looks like three, but don't worry. We're gonna get ourselves a Penta. Five upgrades at once, ladies and gentlemen. Whoosh, there we go. Bam, 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 All right, we got three garlic upgrades. We got an upgrade for the axe. It's now been evolved into a giant death spiral of scythes. And an upgrade for our stone mask, which means more gold, which I don't care about. So no more axes. Now we get these scythe things, which fly off in every direction, pierce all enemies, and do a ridiculous amount of damage. <laughs> all right, now we start upgrading our vandalier. Now we start making vandalier pop off even more. Oh, we are nowhere close to done with Vandalier. Trust me. Trust me on these broskies. I know what I'm doing. I played this game enough. It's not exactly the hardest of games, but when when you play it, you know, and when you first pick up this game, and again, I remind you, it's only three bucks. Like, there's no reason not to, in my opinion. Um, you'll probably lose, like, your first runs. You'll, like, you'll hit the 10-minute mark. A lot of things will spawn, and then you'll probably fall apart until you get at least a handful of upgrades, right? Uh, in your main menu screen, right? Spend your gold, get a lot of permanent upgrades. Get the duplicator if you can, by the way. It's like so stinking good. Um, then you'll start popping off and you'll find that you win most runs, unless you get really unlucky or really stupid. Another upgrade for garlic. Not quite what I was hoping for, but I'll take it, I suppose. Might as well. I really don't care about garlic. Garlic was a mistake. Garlic, I mean, it wasn't a mistake, but it wasn't good. It's not what I wanted. I would have taken just about anything else, to be completely frank. But at the same time, I mean, we're going to get a free pick at some point. Because, like, I've only got so many of these uh, side item slots, and I wasn't going to spend any more on things to upgrade weapons. I wanted the duplicator. I wanted the attract orb. So I guess I don't really pick regret my decisions that much. All right. I I'm being too hard. I'm being too hard on the garlic. Garlic is good. In all things in life, garlic is good. Also, I mean, it made the early game really easy. And let's be honest, the early game sometimes ends up being the trickiest part. Let's keep upgrading that Vandalier, increasing the base area even further. Get them, my little rainbow chicken phoenix person. You can kill them all! Yeah, yeah. There's gonna be more on the map, by the way. I know you still think that, I oh, here comes a bunch. Here we go. I know you think that there's already a lot going on. There's gonna be more. <laughs> It really, the developers did a good job, seriously, where even when you're in god mode, you feel like you're still in danger. You still gotta be a little bit careful or else you could die. It can happen. It absolutely can still happen. I'm hoping it doesn't, but it absolutely can. There goes that chicken. Oh man, the more, the more we reduce the cooldown time so this thing fires off, the better. Higher area, sure, just keep bombarding the frick out of them. Look at this. Vroom! 
Oh my god, we clear through waves. It's glorious! Oh my god. Yep, yep. I think everyone sleeps on Pichon and Ebony Wing. I think they do, because it seems so bad. It's only once you get these things upgraded that you realize, oh my god, Pichon is probably the best weapon in the game. Rune Tracer is a close second, believe it or not. Rune Tracer is actually fantastic, but you're not going to see that this game. You'll just have to play it for yourself. All right, let's max out the power of Vandalier. Boom. Thank you, Rainbow Chicken. So this thing now has a ridiculously low cooldown time and fires off almost all the time. Might as well upgrade the garlic, I suppose. 25 minutes. Only five minutes remaining. Now, believe it or not, this is one of the weakest runs I've had in a while. Normal oh, hey, there's a boss up there. He's a big boss, and he actually could absolutely kill me. we got to be careful about him. I need to get him in range of Pichon. Uh, more garlic would be good. Come on. Got him. All right, there we go. Anyway. Um, yeah, this is actually one of the weakest runs I've had in a, a fair bit. Um, because in the past, I've been like level 90 by now. But we didn't get lucky with the Attract Orb and all that stuff early on. I don't know. Just some runs end up being more powerful than others. All right, clear out that group. Then we're going to rotate around and clear out this group. Vroom. Then we're going to turn around and we're going to clear out the next group. I'm just watching the two circles of Pichon. And we're just going to just follow that and clear out huge groups like this. Let them regroup themselves. All right, we've reached the point where there's nothing literally else to upgrade. So we're just going to start getting free gold and free food. Or free food, I should say. Uh, which means if I'm in a dangerous spot, the floor chicken can be very, very helpful. But boom. Look at this. Absolute maniacal laugh. That... That's what I'm. That's what I should do. Maniacal lab. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. This is on hyper mode. I remind you guys, by the way. Um, this is supposed to be a higher difficulty. Everything. There's more enemies and everything's faster. But holy crap, did we get to have some fun with that? Hi, boss. I wonder how fast we clear out the boss. Ooh, look at all the gorgons. All right, this is where things start to get dangerous. We're gonna pull back a smidge, and we're gonna use this terrain, this piano, to my advantage, so that nothing can approach me from the north. And I honestly think that I can literally just stand here and nothing will be able to touch me at least until the last minute of the game. Might be wrong, but let's just stand here for a minute and we'll just test this. We'll just see. How's it going there? Looking pretty good so far. Hey, look, we killed the Medusa. All right, we should probably go get that. I mean, I don't need it. It's just money or food, but like, we'll just go ahead and grab it nonetheless. For good measure, you know? You should never leave stuff on the ground if you can take free things. Free things are always good. We like free. Free makes me happy. Got it? 25 gold. I mean, we have a stone mask. It's technically worth more than that, but whatever. Let's go ahead and mass and clear out this wave. Vroom! Vroom! Oh my god. Oh my god. Pichon, you are so amazing. Alright, I took a little damage there. Next time I level up, I'll take some floor chicken. Some weapons, uh, once you evolve them, do actually heal you a bit. Which is great. Um, we did not pick any of those. I think the garlic, when upgraded, can technically heal you. The whip, when upgraded, absolutely can heal you. Very, very powerful. But we did not do that. We did not do that at all. Whoosh. Another boss? Whoosh. Whoosh. Oh, my God. Wave of death. Literal wave of death. All right, this is where things are going to start getting tight. We have, we have reached the last three minutes. Ooh, another triple. Sweet. Um, we've reached the last three minutes. We're going to start seeing lots and lots of stuff on the map. There will come a point when the entire map will be covered with nothing but bosses. Nothing but bosses! I know. It's ridiculous. It's gonna be scary. It's gonna be scary. I'm spoiling it a little bit too much, but I'm trying to make commentary. Because at this point, if you're still here, you've already been watching for like 30 minutes so many colors on the screen that if you haven't had a seizure yet, um, then you never will. That's that that's that's it. So I'm just trying to make engaging commentary. I want to keep you guys hyped up because uh, things start getting crazy from here. We're no longer at a point where I can just start walking left and right. No matter how powerful we are, like that would not be wise. We want to just keep making some space. Use Pichon to keep clearing out the left and then the right. There you go. Just keep doing that. Make space for me because I want to have plenty of breathing room. I'm going to lose all of that breathing room in just a little bit. The one thing that gets annoying at some point is uh, we're, we're leveling up so much, or rather, we're getting so much XP. We keep leveling up at a ridiculously fast rate, and I don't really care. I wish I could just have, like, an automatic, like, choose the coins thing, you know? That'd be good. Hi, another boss. What do you know? The boss is probably going to die pretty quick. I'll just stand here for a moment. Let the arcane thing do its... Oh, it's dead. All right, go ahead and grab that. Oh, floor chicken. Didn't mean to grab you. 
Go ahead and do another chest. Why not? I know what it's going to be. It's another 25 gold plus whatever else we're getting right now, which is apparently another 181. Thank you, Stone Mask, for all the extra cash. I appreciate it. Very good. Done. All right. Go oh, we leveled up again. <laughs> you see my point? It just keeps going. All right. Well, we're probably going to hit 100 by the time we're done with this. I have a hard time believing we're not. I mean, we're clearing out so many mobs. I actually do need floor chicken that time. There we go. Keep it going. Keep it going. We're going to probably hit about 5,000 gold. 5,000 gold is needed to get an achievement in the game, by the way. We are level 101 now, by the way. <laughs> um, and honestly, I think it's really hard to get to 5,000 gold unless you're doing hyper mode. Hyper mode gets you like a 50% boost to uh, your money. So it's pretty substantial and it's worth doing hyper mode once you feel a little bit competent. Honestly, I don't see any reason not to play on hyper mode once you know what you're doing. It's pretty easy to do. We're definitely going to hit that 5,000 gold again, though, which feels pretty good. All right, we have about one minute left. This is where things are going to start getting nuts. All right, here's where we start not walking very far. We let Pashone do the work. All right, Pashone, here we go. Drop a train on him. Oh, God, here come all the bosses. <laughs> Lots of bosses. Now, here's the one downside of Pashone. We don't have a lot of close range options. This is where the garlic will be helpful to slightly slow down and stun enemies. I'm trying to buy space as much as I can, but we're in a bit of a dangerous spot. We're completely surrounded by high health enemies, lots of bosses. Come on, we're actually doing really good. This is more space than I've had in the past. So, I mean, Pashone is doing his job, that's for sure. We're level 114 now, by the way. 30 seconds to go. Woo, it's getting close. It's getting close. Keep an eye on Pashone. Make sure you follow the waves, buy some breathing space. Buy some breathing space. Good. Level 118. Oh my god, I'm getting XP for days. Usually I've had to stay in like a very small circle, so I haven't been able to pick up this much XP. Like I'm actually walking forward to follow Pashone and getting a lot of XP in the process. Level 121? Jesus. I am a little bit worried about those ghosts, but two seconds remain, and... Boom! They're all dead. Run! Here comes death! Ah. And he gets you. There's absolutely nothing you can do. He will always get you. 500 extra gold for finishing that out. Coming to almost 6,500 gold this particular run. Boom! Now take a look at that damage. And you tell me Vandalier ain't the best thing ever. He's so stinking good! Ridiculous amounts of DPS. But it just takes a long time to set it up. I mean, notice this. Not so good up until that point. But once you get it going, oh! Oh! It's good stuff. All right, well, that's a look at Vampire Survivors. Again, once you played with, like, all the different weapon types, like, there's not there's not an absolute ton to do in the game. It's just something you do for, like, 30 minutes to have a bit of fun. But it is fun. It honestly doesn't have as much business being as fun as it is. But I enjoy it. And here's the power-up screen, by the way. And, yeah, if you spend a lot of money, you can just go ahead and level up faster or get more money, improve your luck value and stuff. That could be good. More health, more armor, blah, blah, blah. Whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. Whatever you want is A-OK -okay with me. Again, $3 on Steam. Hopefully you guys pick it up, because I think, honestly, that it is worth it. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.